Good morning, John. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, everyone out there. Welcome to We Buy a New Motor Caravan. I'll tell you something, mate. We've just picked up a seven berth, seven belt, three and a half ton wagon. This one? Not this one. Oh. No, 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 no. This is for another day. Do you remember Kiss from a Rose? Hmm. I've had a few kisses from roses, mate. Yeah. You've had a few kisses from roses? Let me introduce you to the seal. This is the Remor Seal 9. Actually kind of a budget van, because for 2022, this is £59,000. A lot of motoring. A lot of motoring for the money. A yeah. lot of motoring for the money. Built on the Fiat Ducato, and it's just over 7.25 metres in length. It's probably 7.33. Pete, isn't there a roller team that's very similar to this? There is, there is. The, the difference is, nine to ten grand though so that the roller team you're looking top end 60s is the reality so for a five or shy of £59,000 you've got a hell of a wagon and do you know what I personally think not only is it seven belts seven berth, seven berth yeah family of five family of three this will really work the payload on this is 690 these are a bit fancy you need to two finger them like that like that and just blast out like that look at that that's one of your bunk beds i love that the fact that it's got that little seventh single in the back yeah that's brilliant bunk beds there obviously that will fold up for you john so you can put everything that you need in your payload in yeah. whilst traveling i just think it's a really cool wagon plenty of space in that garage i like plenty of space See? These lights, they're usually down the sides. Look at these. Fancy, aren't they? I love them. Do you love them? I do. Actually, they're they're I a do. bit like me. They're a little bit marmite, but I, for me, they make me happy as Larry Bees do. I think they're really unique, really different. You've got the little window. That's for the bulk bed. Reverse camera on the top. Love it. I keep mentioning it. 7.3 metres in length, three and a half tonne. Anyone can drive this. Anyone can drive this. It's on the license. It's on the license. I really want to show you inside. Let's go. Should we do it? John, stop fingering the mm. furniture. I wanted to show you the back end of the motor own. I know, fancy. First of all, have a look at that control panel. Slick, isn't it? Slick, stylish. I kind of like it. What I don't understand is you've got that light control panel there and that light control panel there. Just don't get it. And for me, these, you have to, you have to get them in the right place to turn them on. Bit fiddly. Yeah, get your finger in the right place and it's fine. The kids ain't going to be able to reach it, but they can reach okay. this. So lights will be going on and off all the time <laughs> in my house. What do you think to the kitchen space? The only thing I think it could do with is a little bit more. That's all. Totally Just a agree. little bit more. You're meant to be able to feed seven. It could do with a flappy extension. Very here. true, very true. It does mean get rid of that, but personally I think get rid of that anyway. I don't think that's necessary. You got your rings of fire there. Three burner. Three burner. Just no prep area. Now, you know I like my Italian food. Oh, meatballs. I love my meatballs. And it can be done. It can be done. But I think it's a little bit tight. Love the back end, love the bunks. Um, needs a little bit more lighting for me, but a good point is, if the kids are up there, which generally they are, you've got the USBs as well. You could charge your kids. Charge your kids at the end of the day. I know you shouldn't give them too much time on the tablets, but do you know what? Sometimes at the end of the day, they're watching a little bit of this and that. Absolutely. USBs will go down a treat. Seeing the size of that fridge, John? I like it, I think it's big enough. I think it's one of the biggest fridges I've ever seen in a motor home. It's absolutely massive. Do you know my downside to it though? What's that? What colour is it? It is white. Maybe it could have done with being dark like the cabinets. But... But, well, where are your kids sleeping? Well, in there usually. And how mucky are your kids' hands at the end of a day in the yeah, sun? They're very mucky. Yeah, so how are they getting into that bed, John? A bit like this. 100%. Got a little oven. Functional. Functional. Yeah, gas. Efficient. I do like the lighting outside of the bunk bed, so I think the lighting in the rest 
of the motorhome. LED it's strip wonderful. lights. Yeah. Really work. John! Yes, mate. John! What? You on the John? John! Hey! <laughs> now, I must admit, I'm not the smallest fella, but I could successfully use the toilet. That's a positive. <laughs> That is a positive. With my arm in the sink. <laughs> with your arm in the in sink. The sink. And, well, there's a to uh, there's a window. Yeah, so a poo with off. a view. Yeah. You've got a poo with a view in there. Poo with a view. I really like it. I think it's a functional space, big shower. I love that word you've just used, Pete. Functional. 59 grand. Worth it? I think absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, with that shadow of a doubt. Yeah. You stay there. Thanks, mate. I want to show you guys are watching not only is it a massive payload <laughs> these are your filler cushions and they don't even fill it normally the filler cushions fill the wardrobe and that's it you can come out now john oh i was having a good time <laughs> <laughs> i was having a nice time you look comfy there already john do you know what i feel as if i just want to drive it away now and just go yeah, well, I'll sell it for 65 grand if you want. Okay, we'll have a chat. <laughs> so, like I said, seven berth. You've got your double up here. That does push up and out of the way. So, mm. if you're vertically. Well, it won't well we need us. headroom. It won't bother we? us. To be we need a bit of headroom. <laughs> won't bother us. So, you've got two there. Your full dinettes here. You've got four seat belts around here. So, yeah. you've got three, uh, four three pins. Easy for me to say. Yeah. And then you've got three lap belts. So you've got two lap belts here and one here. Plenty. It's a little bit Ikea in here. Yeah, but... Everyone likes a bit of Ikea. I love Ikea. Love the meatballs. Oh, the meatballs and hot dogs. But it is that little bit Ikea in here. Colour? Blandish, but functional, like I say. Not only that, you know my kids. Pasta bolognese on this. Especially the Italian heritage, Pete. You know what I mean? Yeah. That isn't coming out. These are very nice. But, I mean, this seven birth is only for a small child or my mother at four foot ten. <laughs> it's one or the other uh, on that one. Also, John, you've got a massive amount of USB charging points. If you've got a family, family of five like mine, then it, you need to be charging all your iPads and all your things. It's nicely put together. And the, and the latches and the, and the hinges, they're good. They are good. Before we drive away, John, leather cab seat. I feel as if I'm in a bit of luxury. It does, doesn't it? It's nice it's leather as well. Me. It's, it's good leather, yeah, isn't it? It's good leather. It's not, sometimes you can get a bit of a cheap leather, but yeah, this yeah. is nice. This particular one is built on, obviously, the Fiat Ducato. 2.3, 130 brake. You can get the 160 brake upgrade for a couple more grand. You can get an automatic transmission for just over a couple more grand. I also really like that fridge space. I think the fridge is huge. And for us, we only really use the freezers for ice lollies, so I get your point, mm. but our freezers is just for the ice lollies. I agree with you totally, that you were, the amount of USB chargers in this van. It's a bonus. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Bad sides for me, colour internally. I think, especially the style of food that I cook, Mediterranean style of food, it isn't the best. Lots of tomatoes. Lots it's of red. tomatoes, it's very red, and this is very white and cream. Shall we get on our way? Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for watching. We buy the most caravan.com. My name's Pete. And I'm John. We're off. You hold it on, Shane. No. Let's go. I know your, your driving's like Pete, so I'm definitely buckling up on this one. Yeah.